Hey friends, Naturalist Cat here. I thought today we could take an after the rain hike. We just had a really lovely rain and the sun is starting to come out as you can tell by the squint in my eye. And I thought, let's go see what the rain has given us before it all dries up. All right, let's go. Alrighty friends, our first order of business is to feed the ducks. They love the rain and they're such a good wet animal and dirty, they're dirty where you're gonna see that I thought let's go feed them and see what they have to say so here's their food we're gonna go hike over here and by hike I mean walk over to the ducks and let's see oh there they are they have so much to say and this I'm pretty sure they're saying hello to my friend Vinny who loves the ducks and was wanting to see them so hello Vinny from the ducks there's Joey and Fred Joey is the more is the quieter one there on the right louder squawks quacks if you will and then there's Fred on the left and Joey is a girl and Fred's a boy and we're gonna feed them so let me pause while I get their food ready all right friends I'm gonna put their duck food in there they are waiting for their food they're a little hungry they like morning feeding so there they are getting some of their food you can tell that their pen is kind of muddy from all the rain that's Joey eating and Fred making sure I'm not going to do anything to them. So hungry. Alrighty friends, well let's go check out what the ducks well, not with the ducks, but what the rain has brought us. Okay, friends, here we are. We have a raindrops. I know, just raindrops, but not just raindrops. Look how they're hanging out there. This is my uh, coral honeysuckle. It's a native honeysuckle, and it is doing such a good job of hanging out with the rain, and look how cool those are. I think that we should take a... Um, a bush shower instead of a rain shower or a tree shower usually with my preschoolers we take a tree shower but today let's go ahead and just take take a honeysuckle shower Ooh, just a few drops gone now okay let's move on so friends I was walking along looking for signs from the rain and I came across this really beautiful little grass section and check out those raindrops on the grass so pretty and sparkly as the sun is starting to come out. Oh, look over here. Look how sparkly that is. Oh, that's a great find. So my friends, I thought we maybe could see if we find any critters that are taking shelter from rain and the cold that we've had, not today, but before under this log and making it their habitat. See if anyone's living under here. So let's go check it out. Oh, check out. There's some sow bugs. They're scurrying. Sorry, sow bugs. And there's some really good earth under there. I was hoping we might find some worms, but oh, I do see Hang on, let's see if we can get a picture of it. Oh, right there I think is a termite. So there's a termite doing its job eating up this wood, turning it back into earth. Well, not the worms I was hoping for, but some still some life under here. We'll say thank you and then put their home back. Thanks, friends. So friends, I've come down to the wettest part of my yard. And this is our in our very back corner of our fields. And this is usually when we get rain, this is the wettest part of our yard. I'd say it probably borders on being an actual wetland. And um, it's in the flood plain. And I thought, let's go see if there's any water. I'm guessing back here in this back corner. I also wanted to show you my proper footwear for going on an after the rain hike. So there's my chicken boots. And we're gonna head off. I don't usually get to come to this section because it's so wet, but we haven't had as much rain as we probably should by this time. So I might be able to get over there. Let's see what's over there. 
Well, friends, we came over to what usually is a wet spot in our pastures, our fields, and it, there's no standing water, but you can tell by looking at it that water has been here. So, um, still a sign that we've had some rain in the last few weeks right here. It's, it's wetter than most parts, but usually you can squish some water out of the ground, and today I can't, so, but... It's been here recently. Maybe we'll come back and visit after a while. Well, friends, I thought we'd just stop right here. This is a tree that I planted a few years ago as I try to put some more trees on my property. And look here, there is rain. Just doing a beautiful job of highlighting this bud coming out of the tree. And it, as the sun comes out, it just kind of makes it glow. Water just does a great job of doing that and then over here if you look at the Queen Anne's Lace you can see all the seeds and how hairy they are and the water just kind of has highlighted that wow that's really neat friends we're gonna pause because here after the rain I have two hawks that are circling over my fields there's one right there circling and then if we come over here, I believe that is a hawk too. Maybe a vulture. Oh, Just have to keep an eye out to see when it circles back. See if we can get a better look. And there's our hawk right there. Oh, and back to this one. There we go. Definitely a hawk. I gotta look at its underbelly. Oh, maybe not a hawk. Let's go see if we can get right under it and take a look. Look at that bird soaring. The lighting's a little tough to look up into. It's definitely not a vulture. Oh, such a pretty soar. All right. Oh, thank you, birds. What a great find this morning. Hey, friends. So I just thought that Brad and I would say goodbye from here and say that on a rainy day like today, it's a great day to be a duck and it's a great day to go for a hike. So put on your raincoats and your boots and go hiking. And thanks for hiking with me. See you later.